In the previous video, we did global to local. Now we need to do the inverse, where we take a local coordinate somewhere in, say, this level right here. And we're going to take that local coordinate within this level, this black and blue. And we want to figure out globally what's its xy gl value globally amongst the DUM. This is the DUM. It's a 3x3 three three grid of level packs. Each level pack contains 13 levels. Each level is 64 by 64 of the smallest tile. Let's get into the math before we run out of fucking time. We're on video 452. We're going to look over the 452 delta. So anything that has a 452 in the margin. So in tile boy, in the function section for tile boy, within the function that takes the local tile coordinate to global tile coordinate. So here's our input. Here's our output parameter. Input object, local tile coordinate. Output object, global tile coordinate. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of these member variables, m underscore, and we're going to take all these names and put them into shorthand variables so it's easier to juggle around the logic. This is the output, global tile x, global tile y, and the lateral. Oh, that's not actually the output. Um, this is a different variable. But global tile x and global tile y are outputs because you can see them here. And then tile size exponent also has to be in here because the bounds of global tile x and global tile y will change depending on what tile size we have. So this xy global coordinate means absolutely shit if we don't know what tile size we have. Okay, so we're going to do the math. First of all, we need to take the tile size exponent and convert it to the lateral span of a level for whatever tile size we're on. So this is the tile size we're on, and we're going to get the number of tiles on the x and y axis for that tile size. Then we're going to take the hotel coordinate, like which hotel on the 3x3 three three grid we're in, and multiply by the number of tiles in an entire hotel. Then we're going to take the level coordinate on our 5x5 five five grid, the room in our 5x5 five five grid. We're going to multiply by the number of tiles in a room, aka a level. And then we're lastly, we're going to tack on the local tile X and local tile Y. And now we have the global tile X, global tile Y. Then we're going to take these shorthand variables and just pop them into the member variables of the same names in our output object global tile coordinate. And that is it. Here's what we did previously. Here's our footnotes. Here's what we did in this video. If you want a longer explanation, you'll have to go here. You are here. Like, subscribe, send money.